up all you fellow gamers, it's Just Jay here bringing you a brand new Clash of Clans video and this is going to be, and it's not a war video as you may be thinking because I'm at the war screen, but it is kind of a war video. So, what we're going to be talking about today is uh, some, some war attacks that you could use or strategies that you could use, whether it be war or not. And the topic of the day is going to be dragons. Now, uh, dragons are really, really strong units and they can be taken down very easily. If you have strong anti-air units or, you know, you have plenty of archer towers and wizard towers and things like that, dragons can be taken down. But for the most part, dragons are very effective. And here's uh, just a couple of the replays from this current war that you can see we're in. Uh, we're in right now, it's tied 111 to 111. But this is uh, just one of the first replays. Now, we're going to run these replays in, in two times speed just because we don't want to take... Too long on the replays, but you can see he starts one dragon out and pulls the one dragon out and then he drops his CC right in on the side. Now, uh, here comes the rest of the dragons. Now, this is one thing that I, I particularly myself wouldn't have done was put them all in the same spot, but more power to Kar Karshan. Um, he does very well in this attack. He drops the enraged spell and the healing spell on his dragons to clean it up. You see him, they're just putting in massive amounts of work right here in this area. Now, this particular attack, uh, I was really a little bit concerned there for a second because I really thought he was going to get cleaned up here right at the end. These dragons are quite weak, uh, and, but you still had these extra ones over here that probably could have cleaned it up for him. These archer towers were putting in a little bit of work. Like I said, archers and wizard towers do a little bit of work. Now let's just recap what he did was he started on the far right hand side and he worked his way through. Now, particularly for me, a good idea is to is to start on the wide right on the on the outside and kind of sweep through at an angle. We used this uh, CC through CC out there as well to distract some of the units so that he could uh, just go through there and just clean up. So good job, Carson, Cartian, Cartian. I'm sorry if I messed your name up, but uh, he's one of the Spartan Warriors members and he did an overall. He did a really good job, really good job with the three star. And we appreciate it very much. Uh, we managed to get 49,000 loot and 170 in Dark Elixir. He used two of the um, two of the enraged spells and one of the healing. He used five wizards, five archers, and then he used ten dragons. So we're going to go to the next replay now. Out of the dragon replays, uh, this is probably one of my more favorite ones, just because I think that he did a really a really good job with it, and he used some things that I really like. J Blaze 894, good job, J Blaze. Keep it up, keep up the great work um, with what you're doing. He drops in the lightning right here, right off the top. Let me go ahead and hit the double time. He drops all the lightning in, kills this one, this one anti-air. Now he still has the two anti-air to come in, and the towers and the wizard towers to destroy. But my man knows what he's doing. He brings in the dragon straight across, and the king to clean up. And he's just doing massive amounts of work now. I like what he did right here with the second amount, second little group of dragons. He pulled them in lastly behind the first wave. So this is another strategy that you could use for dragons. You, you pull them out. You want to make sure that they're spread out really well, which he did here. You notice how none of the dragons are are sticking together. They're not grouped up. They kind of spread out a little bit. He doesn't want to be taken down too easily, so he kind of spread them around, kind of in a U shape almost, but not so not so sharp wide angle kind of like that and then he just went through and cleaned up so great job J Blaze <laughs> way to just annihilate this base uh, keep up the great work he only managed to get 48,000 in loot and uh, loot and elixir or gold and elixir and then of course 170 in dark dark elixir so he didn't really get a lot but of course this is a war so not really going to get a whole lot out of it, but he used 11 dragons, a king, he used a CC, three lightning spells, and then he had a, a wizard and an archer. I don't recall even seeing them in there, but they were there somewhere, so uh, <laughs> good job, Jay Blaze. Thanks for, thanks for all your hard work. Uh, if you like this video and you want some more tips, I'm going to be working on a few other things, some balloon, some balloon tactics and some barching strategies, or balloonian and barch and if you don't know what those are I can go into a little bit more detail in the video but we got some more of those things coming up this is a fairly new thing for my channel 
if you like the if you like the videos, make sure you you hit that like button. You share with your, your friends. You subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this one and what you would like to see in the future. Uh, Clash of Clans is always changing, so let me know uh, what it is you like about it, what you want to see. And thank you guys for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video.